the nine great stations on the journey of transformation. I am Christina Tehal. Here I recapitulate pivotal sections of first principles in direct quotes from Dr. Mark Offney or Barbara Marks Hubbard woven together from the prior week's One Mountain, Many Paths broadcast. The Who Am I story of human being is also the Who Am I story of humanity. They are embedded in each other. Let us create the most beautiful, good, true world that we already know is possible. The alternative is dystopia, meaning no future or a dystopian future. The journey through the nine stations of the selves, to the best of our understanding, is the purpose of human life in the manifest world. Station one, pre-personal. Before the self comes online, there is the pre-personal. Like a baby doesn't have any sense of being separate. That absorption, that oneness between mother and baby, that being held in the arms of the adoring mother and knowing we are welcome. Station two, the first emergence of separate self appearing in the re Renaissance. Every human being, independent of the larger context, has dignity. Station three, social self, which is very strong today. The social self, rooted in social physics, suggests that who we are is the sum total of our social interactions, our social influences, and the social network incentives that shape and form us, that we become the object of manipulation through social cues. This is the understanding that lines the webplex, which can undermine our autonomy, our free will, and the inward space of meaning in which the glory and nobility of self is formed. Station four, false self. False self is a distortion of either separate self or social self. A false core sentence might be, I am not good enough. I am not lovable. I will always be alone. I am not safe. Station five, true self. The fifth station is this dramatic exponential up-leveling of self where something new happens. True self is the field of intimate consciousness, intimate value, and it's the field of intimacy with all things. All of us participate in the same one true self. Station six, Unique self, the experience of enlightenment. Our unique self is an irreducibly unique expression of the love, intelligence, love, beauty, and love desire. That's the initiating and animating eros of all that is, that lives in us, as us, and through us, that never was, is, or will be ever again other than through our unique self. Station seven, unique shadow. The seventh station is not a quality of self. It's actually a quality of consciousness. It's a distortion of self. It's the part of our unique self that's unlived. Station eight, evolutionary unique self. Evolutionary unique self is unique self in an evolutionary context where we experience that we are an irreducibly unique expression of the evolutionary impulse itself. 
Station nine, unique self symphony. The ninth quality where self plays unique self symphony is new structures of intimacy, which respond to the root cause of the meta crisis, the global intimacy disorder. We need to generate a new, new structures of intimacy that can only come from the deepest new structures of self because intimacy means intimacy between selves. How do we actually journey to that place? How do we realize that? We have to overcome, solve, and resolve at higher levels of consciousness the global intimacy disorder. The way we become a resonant beacon for the larger galactic unfolding is by evolving who we are to the best, to the deepest, to the truest, to the most good and most beautiful that we can be together.